all the faff of Christmas preparation, colds, birthdays and miscellaneous shenanigans, I've only now had the chance to sit down and record this article that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've always been a big fan of extra credits. They offer really insightful food for thought about the video games industry and do a great job of astutely deconstructing many of the things we overlook or take for granted in gaming. However, in a video they released about a month ago, for the first time I found myself disagreeing with them. The video in question is What is a Game? James Portnow, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, and Daniel Floyd pick through this very relevant question, relevant given the success of titles like The Stanley Parable and Kentucky Route Zero that sit a little uncomfortably among what we've come to consider as what we class as a video slash computer game. Their general conclusion is that we shouldn't be asking this question because by doing so we end up narrowing the definition meaning that games like The Stanley Parable and Kentucky Route Zero will end up being thrown out of the bathwater. But I disagree. I think this is a salient question that we should be discussing. Why? Because in doing so we can expand the definition of what a game is, meaning that games like The Stanley Parable and Kentucky Route Zero can be welcomed lovingly into the fold. By examining the criteria that we've traditionally used to define video games, we reassess why this de definition is restrictive and therefore can reconfigure these paradigms to be more inclusive of the trailblazing that developers, especially indie ones, are doing in pushing these boundaries. If we don't ask this question, then the definition will never change. So what can we do? Do we continue to discuss this ad infinitum or actually take some action? How about changing what we call them? I completely agree with Portnow and Floyd that we really do need a new term to describe what games are. I personally prefer one of my own interactive electronic entertainment. But to be honest, it's not that catchy. But video game is a label that's not going to disappear anytime soon. The industry has now become such a huge and lucrative entity that this term is pretty much cemented in because it's a long established one. As it stands, it provides an easily recognisable classification that creates an expectation for customers regarding the core of the contents, etc, etc. Yes, it is somewhat restrictive, but to be honest, I think it's probably a bit broader than what we think it is in its current state. The last thing we want to do is create a new genre that's going to sit outside of video games, making it harder for developers to get their work out there because we're trying to figure out what, how, what we're going to class it with, and you know, I think it's just a bit superfluous. Video games is a term that we just have to work with, not against. And that means loosening it up a little, albeit from the inside. So whilst a new term is sorely needed, it's not going to help. But that's not to say Portnow and Floyd are at all wrong. I don't doubt that their experience of discussing what is a game has been hijacked by bored and boring people trying to create a supposedly impenetrable proximity of base comfort in order to outcast anything that's new or different. Oh, the horrors. And that is harmful to the industry. But saying that we shouldn't discuss the question is not the answer. What Portnow and Floyd has highlighted is that when we discuss the question, we really need to be very mindful of how we approach it. We need and should be discussing this to broaden what we generally think of as a video game. This discussion, however, shouldn't be hard or dismaying. It should be vibrant and exciting. This is an incredibly dynamic and defining generation for gaming with Silicon Valley really giving Hollywood a run for its money and with innovators like Davey Redden and Cardboard Computer really challenging how we view the medium in ways that no one would have thought of to do about a decade ago, so why shouldn't it? By all means, if you feel like defending the requirement for a more defined definition of what a video game is, then do so. But try and open your mind, or even play some of the games that cause contention. And ask yourself whether it's so bad if video game is a label that should be allowed to hang off it. Albeit loosely. Just enjoy whatever games you receive this holiday season, whether it's video game, interactive electronic entertainment, or other. Just be thankful you didn't get sprouts. No one likes sprouts.
question Tell me what you think about me I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely When it's all over, please get up and leave Question, tell me how you feel